Trainers, welcome to episode 28 of the Lured Up Creator Series, the podcast bringing your favorite content creators to talk about their work, process, and the game that brings it all together, Pokemon Go. Lured Up is part of the Pokemon Professor Network, and today is Saturday, April 17th, 2021. I'm your host, Ken Pescator, and this week I'm excited to be joined by Becky and Eli of Legendary Adventures. <laughs> Oh, yeah, baby. We have been waiting so long for this, man. Uh, it's, it's, it's a surreal moment. I mean, milestone hit. Oh, man. I just, wow. This it, It's a blessing, an honor, a privilege to be like here yeah. with, with the wife, with 100. the babe. Oh, and to be chatting with you. Oh, I mean, we're, we're missing Adam, of course. Um, you know, I, we, we get it that the man, the man, the myth, the, the legend, the snazziest dresser in Pogo, uh, you know, has, has got some duties, but we appreciate being here, man. Yeah. No, that's that's awesome. I'm, I'm so excited. And I knew you were going to bring the fire. So, so I'm excited. <laughs> that the, uh, no, no shortage of energy at all coming from the West Coast right now. So I, I definitely can appreciate that. Um, so before we get into it, I, you know, I just want to give a little backstory of of kind of how this this all came to be because uh i kind of had like this this aha moment when i was watching some of your content so you know i've known about you guys for a while i've watched your content i've seen it and i didn't really understand what was going on per se until (laughs) i was in with one of your live streams and you were hosting raids and i was just in the mix and 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 Click, being in right? the chat <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. it was so fun and the energy that you brought and the way the dynamic the way you were interacting mm-hmm. with the community that was there immediately as soon as i was done watching i was like yo i gotta send them a message like right now mm-hmm. and get them booked because it felt so real it felt so organic and uh easy, you know the, the positive vibe <laughs> was was just there and it was just like ah oh, this is this is the good shit so i i really really <laughs> like that and then i was like I, I got to send him a message and you responded right back. And, and here we are. So that being said, introduce yourself. Let <laughs> us know where you're from, you know, who you are. Tell us a little bit about Legendary Adventures and then we'll kind of dig into the process. For sure. So without further ado, yo, champs of the making, this is Eli, a.k.a. That Big Sauce Gamer Tag. And I'm Becky, a.k.a. Small Fry. We are wonderful Pokétubers, uh, positive Pokétubers from the West Coast, as you just mentioned, out here in beautiful Southern California in the biggest county, Riverside County, a.k.a. the Inland Empire, i.e. representing, doing raids, doing shiny hunts, helping fellow Pogo trainers, whether they, you've already hit level 50 or, you know, you just started an hour ago, maybe 10 minutes ago, and you found us by the grace of God, you know, like we are helping you on your journey and then, of course, bringing you on ours. That's so awesome. It's, it's so fun, dude. The energy, <laughs> the energy level is so, you know, it's like, you know, I, of course, I talk to all different types of creators and, you know, there's certain certain YouTubers and, and, and creators from that space that just bring this this certain amount of energy. And it's like it's you know, I love it. I love just being <laughs> around it. And, you know, it's just like I, I feel I feel the, the the flow and it's just like, yeah, this is so great because <laughs> it, 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 it's yeah. coming across like so, uh, you know, it's just so organic. And it's like, believe me, I, I've heard, you know, my son. I got a 12 year old son. He watches a shit ton of, of YouTubers and they, they, they lay it on thick, you know, when oh, it comes yeah. to the energy and like how they react and everything, but it's, you, you could kind of see through it. And it's yeah, like, yeah, you know, sure. being in the flesh with you now here, you know, <laughs> virtually speaking, it's like, all right, this is legit. This is, this is the real deal. It's fantastic. That's awesome. No, so yeah, yeah. I'd like to say it's uh, often imitated, never duplicated, you know, yeah. so, I mean, yeah, the, <laughs> the energy is there. And, uh, you know, in part, we, we like to thank the coffee, but reality is that, <laughs> is that, you know, we we're hyped. We're always pumped for Pokemon. Like whether it's Pokemon go or Pokemon, we just, we love it. And the community, it just, Oh, there we can go on and on, man. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself. Let, let me know who you are and, and ultimately, I want to dig into the story of, of how you met and what what got you here to this point where you're, you know, a couple but creating content together. I think that's real interesting. Dang, coming in with those Oprah heavy questions. All right, all yes. right. Um, so let, let's see. Wow. Um, where where do we start? Well, let, let, let's start in the beginning. Uh, how we met. You know, uh, Becky and I. We are a married couple. We do Pogo together. It's it's a combined shared channel that we do um first and foremost and we'll get into how that all began in a moment but how we met how we met oh my goodness um you know i I gotta give credit where credit is due the wifey the wifey is the 
world's greatest Pokemon trainer. And I say right. that because she caught me. Um, and I want to, it wasn't with a mask. Oh, anyway. He was totally speaking from the heart. <laughs> no, here. it is. It, it is very true. It is a story that our, that our followers, our, our, our viewers know, like, true and true the girl could throw a mean curveball and got an excellent throw on me and you know she snagged it and put I it on put a ring it. on it, I it. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah yeah so becky and i actually got to meet um uh, through an old place that i used to work i used to work as a career counselor for um for a vocational college and she was a graduate and you know uh, i got in contact you know helping people in their cohorts trying to find them jobs and whatnot and becky came in one day with with her friend and I was offering her like work and her career, like her career choice and everything, but she had her eyes set on yeah, on, on I, snagging I the was, hubby. I was offering him <laughs> cupcakes. I did the whole shebang. I'm like, happy Valentine's Day, Yo, Mr. She, Coordinator. She snagged me with Twinkies, bro, when there was that Twinkie shortage a few years back. So. I told them one time I told them what what's the one snack that you would like right now that you might not be able to get? And he said Twinkies. And I went to multiple grocery stores and I got those Twinkies for him. It's like, like tracking down Pokemon cards. Nah, son, I'm tracking down Twinkies right now. Twinkies, it literally was Twinkies. I cannot make this up. Like, seriously, that's what it was. Yeah, I'm always dealing with a shortage. If it ain't the sweets, it's the Pokemon cards. It's one of the two, man. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. And and how has Pokemon kind of influenced your life? Like, when did you get introduced to the franchise? And, you know, how, how did this lead to, to the point where you are now, you know, with, the, with Pokemon at large? Oh, man. You know, like... Like many, you know, when 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 Pokemon hit, you know, the states, you know, it just hit the wave. It was from the Game Boy games, the, the anime, the cards, like you know, fully immersed. Uh, man, I I can't remember. I cannot look back at my childhood and not think of Pokemon being there. Um, you know, and, and mind you, I, I'm a gentleman of a distinguished age already in itself. Uh, the energy can can fool many, uh, but you know, it's <laughs> always been there, and, and you know, even to this day, it still excites me. Whether I'm opening cards, playing Pokemon Go, I still revisit the old games and just like get into it. Um, you know, started the journey with Red, even though it wasn't mine. You know, shout out to the homie Tristan who would loan me the and let me borrow the you know the the Game Boy and the game over the weekend, and I would lose sleep trying to like get as far as I could before, you know, having to give it back um, because, you know, you can't let another Pogo trainer or Pokemon trainer be without, you know, their, their game as well. Right. Um, right. <laughs> so it wasn't until, you know, later on, like that I was able to get silver and like, let that be my first like journey. That's why Johoto, uh, even though I love Kanto, Johoto like means so much to me because that that's my true beginning of the adventure. Nice. So for myself, um, it definitely started with Pokemon Snap in the Nintendo 64. And all thanks to my big brother, we're six years apart. And, you know, I never had a sister to play dolls with. You know, I had my older brother that loved Pokemon Go. Which I and, thank him for. <laughs> and yeah, he loves Pokemon. I meant, I said Pokemon Go. He loves Pokemon. And so, of course, I wanted to play video games with my older brother. And so Pokemon Snap, I had no idea what I was doing. But for me, it was fun. I was spending time with my brother uh pokemon was there and yeah that's where the love started that's that's awesome all right so you, you've both been in it for for a while now and when you met and that whole thing how did it kind of come to be that you you were both into pokemon in one way or another like how did, how did that come out was it were, were you waving the nerd flag proud or that was it kind of like you know in the background and then all of a sudden it's like wait you like pokemon too like what how did that come about oh wow okay so so, you know, as, as all blossoming couples do, you know, yeah, 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 you court, you know, you show your best side. Um, I, I'm, I'm an avid, like, nerd fan, like, geek fan, like, so, you know, like, the Marvel flag, the Pokemon flag, all of it. But it wasn't until, like, Becky saw her, oh, I guess Becky saw my card collection, which now, you know, because we're married, it's her collection. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get to look at him. I can't touch, but I, I get to look at him, and that's so pretty cool. Uh, you know, and, and it was like one of those, like, oh, I'm into uh, cards too. And, you know, when someone tells you that, you know, you're like, okay, okay. But then, you know, you, when you get trumped by their collection, I'm like, cha-ching, jackpot. Like, you know, nice, I, nice. I, I got the right partner. Like, yes, like <laughs> so the, the, the universe has aligned. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. No, that that's, that's cool to hear. And, uh, you know, I, it's, I, I know plenty of people that have been involved with Pokemon for so long and then now they're in relationships and, you know, that the, the Pokemon franchise has played that role of, you know, just being a little bit of a, of, of, of a glue in one way or another that, that can bring the couple together. 
So I, I think that's really exciting and that's super cute as hell. And I love that shit. Aww, that's what I do. <laughs> so, <laughs> so so how did you decide to start making content? Like what 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 happened? Like what was the trigger moment when you said let's let's get a camera and and start making you know Pokemon content? Was it the release of Go? Like how did that come about? No. Um, you know, when Go came out, I was pumped for it and started playing it right out of the gate. Um I, I gotta, I gotta air you out, babe. But for for it's fine. Go for our listeners. They already know this. Uh, for our viewers, they know this. But Becky was very against Niantic and Pokemon Go when it first came out. <laughs> okay, but it's out there. I admit it. I admit it. It's it true. Okay. <laughs> the reason being is because you have to sign over and, and agree to the terms of conditions that you are going to be tracked playing this game. You know, she's right, like, I'm right. not doing that. I'm not letting the man follow me. You know, they're, they're, they're going to know where I'm at. And you know, I'm like. Pokemon, okay, sign over like life and like soul and everything. <laughs> and, and Becky was like, no. And of course, her like she she mentioned her other brother, her older brother, like was like, yes, like let, let's play. So you know, we we got into it. Um, oh yeah, but I'm very competitive when it comes to my older brother. Like whatever it is, I'm gonna beat him, even if it takes me years. So then it happened that we all started playing together, and it became like this rivalry between me my brother and then me and Red, my and husband <laughs> so it's, that's how the shiny competition started we would be uh grinding the three hours originally and then we would be like how many shinies do did you get we're trying to get the first place obviously i'm trying to get shiny queen out of us <laughs> so that's how that started yeah so i mean that's where it transitioned but how the camera came into our hand was you know we're, we're you know, Pogo had been out for a year. I, I lost my original account. Um, it got hacked. I lost all this stuff. Oh Restarted. no! Yeah, so it was it was it was a bummer. Like it, like it, like believe me, like I went through like a mini like depression episode of like I lost all everything yeah. you you got, and it wasn't even like all the great stuff yet. It was just like the acquisitions of like I had so many Rattatats and Pidgeys, which now sounds yeah, completely sure. absurd <laughs> to say. But you know, like it was like you know the 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 crazy stories that are tied behind it. You know, every Pokemon you catch. Nowadays, you know, you, there's something you can look back and you're like, oh, I remember I was there. I did this. I did that. That was back in the the outlaw days, you know, where where before you were warned not to like trespass, you know, where you were jumping into your neighbor's backyard or like going into like shady yeah, spots just to God. like get that Pokemon. Yeah, you know, I, I, I neither can, uh, you know, confirm, confirm nor deny <laughs> that, that I used to like run through yeah. people's backyards chasing down unknowns or something like that. I, that may yeah, have yeah, happened. Yeah. I, I totally get it, dude. Like we, we were never there. Um, but so needless to say, you know, like um, her brother as well fell into like a, a depressive state. And so, you know, the only thing that would help him out, get out of the house and like change his, his mindset was playing Pogo. So we started playing Pogo, um, you know, and we started playing Pogo because um, where we live, we, we live out in the boonies. Like it's very rural. There's no gym, no Pokestop, nothing, nothing around for about <laughs> oh, like, no. 12 to 15 miles, give or take. And even now, like as, as high level trainers, we can't turn anything into a, 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 a pokey spin or like a gym because all we have is rock, rock, bush. Yeah. There's nothing. Out there's here. nothing. Yeah. So, so wow. we, we, we would go out to like the downtowns and like other oh areas and surrounding cities and we would For play. Sure. And you, you know, it, if it's one person playing, you know, they're playing Pogo. If it's two, oh, okay. You, you kind of leave them alone, but three. And then, you know, you, you kind of like meet other people and the, the energy of like, I got a shiny or oh you got a hundo. But let me say, dude, because the Riverside community where we live is the city is called Riverside. Downtown Riverside has a lot of gyms, a lot of stops. It's and great city. It's like crazy. Like it's the best place to play Pokemon Go. And uh, and the community there is like so amazing. Like everybody groups up. Everyone is in it together. Everyone helps each other out. And we really wanted to capture that as well and share it. Well, that and the issue, the 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 true issue of like of, of creating the content was we would have friends that would watch all these other like YouTubers that we didn't know about, like po Poke tubers and whatnot. And they would have like mixed information or then people would just like assume that things were coming and be like, no, let's get the information right. Let's track it down. You know, we're already sharing it. Let's let's put it on a content like on, on this content form or this platform, if you will. And then because we have friends that like, you know, they're they're truck drivers, they're long haul drivers, they're they're individuals that like can't always sit down or like or, or meet up for like the, the typical grind sessions. They would feel that they'd miss out. So we would create these vlogs with like. The inside jokes, the inside jokes and the energy that 
they knew like, oh, this, this, this is what's going on. This is what I missed. So it didn't feel like they missed out and they weren't there for like whatever the event was or whatever the info was or whatever the case is. They came and prepared and they're like, oh yeah, we got the info. Cool, cool, cool. Let's, let's, let's fire away. And it felt like this is the info like catered to to them because right you know it's, it's so the hometown true. it's mm-hmm. the area oh this is where such and such research task is at you know like like that that little yeah, bit of information helping each other out for sure you know i i love that so much and and not for nothing when i was in your your raid stream mm-hmm. it was I, I could almost feel that even being from the other side of the country from jersey you know it was like it was i i you know as you were going from stop to stop or gym to gym and you know as you were you know kind of calling out like the landmarks and everything i i really felt that where you were playing was was equally as important as what you were playing and how you were doing it like i definitely got that vibe so that's very very cool i love that perspective and i think that that makes a, a really a nice vertical slice of what this community could be like and specifically from riverside specifically from your area that that's a, an awesome like you know, uh, uh, it's like a, a telescope into into your community. So I, I really love that. I think that's that's an amazing uh, kind of um, mission statement to capture that vibe of of your town, of of that community. I think that's 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 phenomenal. And and I definitely felt that. I thought that was really really cool. That's so he, yeah, hearing that, it's like oh yeah, shit. Yeah, no, that, you know what? That does that does make sense. <laughs> no, it's amazing to hear that you're saying that you're feeling it. So then that means that we're actually portraying like what, what we're, what what we're, we're doing. Do. Yeah. You know, how often do you get the actual feedback that, yeah, you know, what you, what you, what that personal like goal or, or item that you're trying to hit with everyone is resonating. And, you know, we, we have viewers from all over the world that love coming to Raid City and like, we'll do like live streams now, like at random hours, like where we know other people aren't streaming, but it's because, you know, people want to come in and how we do a, do it you know it's it's that energy that flow and that you know making sure that we connect with everyone ah that's that's freaking awesome i I absolutely love that and and what i thought was interesting one was that you were doing this on youtube right like your your youtube is your main platform uh was the original platform yeah yeah yeah. it's It's, it's still the the main one yeah. yeah so that's that i thought was different right out of the gate you know especially with you know, the, the, the PVP boom and how a lot of people went from YouTube to Twitch mm-hmm. and they were doing a ton of pogo streaming over on Twitch. But it's, you know, for the most part, it would be PVP based content or analytical content or behind the desk kind of content. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, um, back in the beginning, like, I you know, when when Pokemon Go vlog content first started happening and, you know, with early, early trainer tips and I would watch mm-hmm. Ben Tim all the time and. You know, he'd be doing videos like from his car. Right. Right. And I always thought that was fucking cool because I, it spoke to me because 90 fucking percent of the time I'm playing this game, I'm in my car. Like, it's well, just, that's yeah, just the reality of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's face it. You yeah, know, it's yeah, like the that's that's the reality of players is that we're all able to drive for the most part. And for those that can drive, we'll take, you know, our kids, we'll take our uh, our brothers and sisters. We'll take like the little the neighborhood kids, you know, that if, they, if they're cool with you, like to go play Pokemon Go and just hop in the car and just hit up all the chips as, uh, as soon as you can. Yeah. No, I, I love that because that that definitely speaks to me because, you know, it, it's I've got amazing places to play by me and it's very, very populated uh, with trainers and there's all these subsets of communities and different style players everywhere around me. So I'm very, very fortunate based on where I'm at. But I'm still in the car. Like I still mm-hmm. love the the personal Pokemon Go experience. Mm-hmm. I love to be in the car with music fucking blasting yeah, or yeah, listening yeah. to a podcast. And yeah. you know, that's that's like, you know, you're you're talking about uh, you know, Becky's brother. Like this would help him out. This would get him out of a funk. This would be, mm-hmm. you know, for me, Pokemon Go is my number one form of therapy. It's very cathartic for me. Like this is yeah, how Lord. I feel yeah. good about things and I reward myself with it. You know, I bust my ass at work. I work 60 hours a week. I'm breaking my ass. I'm doing all this shit. It's like, what do I want to do? I want to, you know, I want to get in the car. I want to listen to music and I just want to go grind and lose myself in the game. And so it's like, whenever I see people filming in the car or something like that, I'm like, Oh shit, Ben Tim style. I was like, (laughs) you know, pull over on the side of the road, you know, get, you know, clean up this cluster, hit this raid, whatever it may be, take out the gym. So I, I fucking love that. I think, that's really awesome now talk to a talk to me about the the current content that you're making like you're on youtube but you're doing a blend of produced content and stream content so kind of tell tell me how what what videos and what streams you're doing like what's the the mix of content that you're actually creating right now 
All right. So for streaming content in itself, we do raids. We will do either raid hour, uh, if my schedule uh, allows it. <laughs> um, you know, the legendary raid hour. I mean, that's where the legendary adventures comes from. It's from doing those legendary hours. Um, but you know, we'll do raids in the first thing in the morning. You know, like and and take everyone to raid city from the car. And so we're streaming on on youtube on twitch and on omelet as well yeah so we're on three platforms three different chat at streams the same time, at yeah. the same time oh um, hell yeah and a lot and making sure like our, our main goal is to allow everyone in at least once in the rotation for for the raid so uh, again a, a mad kudos to the wifey here who like keeps everyone listed going on and like just like all right who's in what wave what way we're doing and getting everyone that opportunity to go ahead and get it because you know, like you said, you, when you live in a city that has a lot of like trainers, you're very lucky because you never are too far, like time wise uh, away from being able to jump into a raid, snag a, a tier five or maybe a mega and, you know, go about your day. But when it's like the rule players that, like mm -hmm. like ourselves that maybe don't have another person to play with, you know, you're looking for someone that'll let you in. And especially when you're starting up now. Now in Pokemon Go, you know, you, you get to level 20 because it's super easy, but then it gets a little complicated trying to get those good, good Pokemon that you want that'll help you out later on in in, in your path. Yeah, you know, Becky, I, I got to give you a shout out because you were like an air traffic controller during that fucking stream. <laughs> it was like, and you were just like calling it out. You're like, all right, wave one, bam, 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 wave two. It was just like nonstop over and over. I was like, oh shit, they got a system going on here. Oh like they God, really, they really have this like locked down. I thought it was hilarious. And it was great because, you know, you were so incredibly organized and the chat was organized. I go, yo, this is insane. I go that that like that's that's all part of like, you know, when I got done with the stream, I was like, this is this is a, a different feel like this is yeah. this feels completely different. And I've watched a shit ton of grinding streams and a ton of rating streams and a ton of PVP streams and a ton of streams where the community is involved in chat. But it just felt different because the, the community was so in the mix and oh, uh, i no, just man. that dynamic was so freaking cool and it was like <laughs> before i knew it like like i saw will rock you know will rock from from new york yeah and and you know i've i've raided with him in person before and stuff and it's like we had, you know i haven't seen him in you know since december 2019 community day mm -hmm. you know i went to new york city and hung out with that whole you know omnisec and and that whole crew joe landor was there and, yeah, and panda yeah. man and yeah. that was with mystic seven and jt gilly was fucking insane but like we all yeah. went out to eat it was great i haven't like seen him since so it was like before i knew it i was like oh shit i've done like three or four raids with will, will rock now i was like this is cool <laughs> as hell I, was like, I, just, I love how like this is all coming together so uh it definitely felt different so that that was that was really awesome so you're so you're doing like a a multi-stream thing and and you're streaming like what's your how do you how do you pull this off like what's your what's your like a uh, equipment kind of look like are you running any different software or you have a laptop in the car like what do you what the hell are you doing, doing how are you anything. doing oh, my job my job is to drive the miracle whip and go sideways when i gotta <laughs> go ahead and get to like a gym within like the allotted allotted amount of time um so that everyone doesn't lose the raid pass in case they white out but the techie on the uh, for the streaming, it is all Becky on this one, so I'll let you go ahead and handle that. Oh man, if only you guys knew. Well, well, the main streaming platform is Omelet, so we're streaming on my phone, uh, on Omelet, and then Eli has another phone, so he can look at the Twitch. So he's more involved with the Twitch. I see a little pop up for the Twitch as well, for... so I'll let him know, like, hey, you need to address something on the Twitch, and then we'll have another device for the YouTube comments, mm -hmm. and then we have another device for the music. Yep. So that's <laughs> yeah. So that's we're so running great. multiple devices, and that's how we're doing it. And yet somehow it doesn't feel cluttered. Like it feels like normal. Like you know you're dual wielding, but you know it, it works. It works. <laughs> You know? Well, well, again, that's the that's like the Ben Tim moment. You know, that's like where it's it it felt very relaxed and it felt very calculated at the same time. So it was it was right up my alley. That's like a good good like metaphor for me. You know, relaxed yet calculated. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's kind of that's kind of like it, it really it really felt felt good. It felt natural. Yeah. And you know, what's it like creating content like that where? not only are you involving the, the community, involving the chat, but you're on the move. And I think that that's what's a little bit different from some, most vlogging and your style. Because, yeah, you could be vlogging and walking down the street, mm -hmm. but that's different from, all right, we're driving to point A, next to point B, then to point C, and you have like a route going. Like, yeah. what, what What's that dynamic like doing that in real time, creating that type of streamed content versus 
something like a produced content video where you have the time to to you know take lines over or edit content together or add effects or add sounds like what what's that dynamic like between the produced content and the streamed content okay uh well i mean first and foremost i, I gotta like be grateful for the fact that we were able to that we started with uh you know the content that we created because for us when we played pogo most people most trainers and creators stay to you know their city and we don't southern california is like our whole entire area of play so we would play in la in or in orange county in like san diego ventura like Just, every county mm-hmm. every city and we would go find like the major spots to go play like every location's mini raid city like the you know yeah, the, we would the communities and, and all that so having that information now we're able to just land anywhere and be like okay you know these when these raids pop off here let's say for legendary like hour you know that you're gonna have x amount the stragglers and then you just hit the route and then you're like okay 10 minutes till we get there like okay let's entertain the chat and you know tell stories who's got what you know yeah, what's going on and them. then chat with everyone and then of course get prepared as you get to location location so you got the driver and you got the well the navigator if you will no i felt that like that was that was cool and i, and I was like yeah this does feel different because there, i could tell that there's this this separate kind of uh air of logistics that's happening in the background that the that the viewer may not know about or or see or even appreciate but that's mm-hmm. the kind of beauty of that transparency is all that stuff is happening and it all felt all falls into place without the the viewer actually knowing what the hell is going on all they know oh, no, is they're no, getting the, the more view- raids the, our viewers-, some viewers do some viewers don't so. yeah yeah because because let's, let's face it because uh, of how trading with pokemon is you know we have uh, people who have found us you know not only from playing like live before you know the pandemic um you know playing pokemon go and, and you know have subscribed but like you know they found us now through streaming and through the produced content and you know they're like wait you're down the street can we do a trade and we're like yeah and they're like wait how how like are you guys spoofing and we're like no we don't spoof we're, we're driving around like we're, <laughs> we're actually we're, there we're, we're, we're hitting the spots and everyone's like no yeah they're not spoofing like i just saw them go by or like they just <laughs> yeah. they're like yeah. that's them like that you know it's it's funny because you know when when you start doing your content in your area you know you get you know people who the other trainers who subscribe to you and then you know they'll shout you out like you know legendary adventures from across the street and it's very cool and now you know we're like we're we're in stream and you know there are other people like doing their raids and they're like oh we're we're watching your stream but we're gonna follow you guys too so, you know so now it's the caravan you know of, of, of everyone going and then still like partaking so it's 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 pretty chill that's awesome. That's so awesome. It's like it's such a cool dynamic. No, and and I love that because uh, it, it's just it, there's a lot of different levels of organization going on, and I think that that's that's something pretty unique. And let's face it, the 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 creative space at large is is flooded. There's tons of people making content. There's tons of people that are creative and doing things, and it's hard to differentiate yourself, and it's hard to uh, build an audience around something that's unique. So, you know, what you're doing is completely different, uh, in my opinion, than, than what you can see out there. That's why I'll, I'll urge, uh, you know, the lured up community to check out what you're doing because, uh, it's, it's not like anything else that's out there because <laughs> there's, there, there's plenty of streams, but I, I assure you, you know, you're not going to see a wife yelling at her husband to drive faster, <laughs> you know, to like, like I was cracking up and like, and like you, I don't know, you went off road or some shit one minute. And you're like, oh, well, we're okay. Yeah. We're, we're back on the road. I'm hearing like horns honking and shit. I'm like, yo, they're going for it. Well, I, like, I, love, I love to drift. So like the wife will give me the occasional green light to go ahead and like, you know, run red light and, and oh, on corner, you know, to, to get to the stops. So like I said, it, you know, <laughs> on top of it being important that you know that that we get everyone into the rotation, it's making sure that you know people don't lose their their the rate pass because you know there's a lot of free uh, free to play players and you know especially young players that you know oh, maybe yeah. maybe it's their allowance or maybe it's the only free one that uh, free rate pass that they have and they they have chosen to spend it with us and we do not take that lightly yeah. whatsoever. So we want to make sure that we get to the to the spot where we need to go and and. And take care of it. Of course, you know we, we do try to abide by safety rules, and thank goodness I have enough buddies who play pogo and the, and the Riverside sheriffs. You know, so I just got to call it. So shout out to shout out to the squad in regards to that. But like, yeah, so so we do what we got what we can to go ahead and make yeah, it fun for everyone. Of course. 
that's awesome. And and you know, I guess speaking back to the you know pre pandemic and 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 all that, but mm-hmm. where outside of Southern California have you traveled to play the game? Were you able to like go to any big events? Did you get to to experience like a Go Fest or Safari Zone or anything like that? Uh, I mean, we've we've gone to play in Mexico and we've gone to play in other states. Um, you know, again because the the adventure Pokemon just takes you everywhere. Sadly, 2020 was supposed to be the year oh. that we had that we finally had bought every like we had uh, gone in on all the tickets. We we're gonna do yeah. all the safari. No, fest, we all, actually bought. We, the we had tickets. everything. We, we had, had everything, everything ready to go. All our everything. And then we just saw it day by day, like everything just get like xed out. I'm like, no, no, yeah, I, no. I, no. I, I know the feeling. Adam and I were we're gonna do the same thing. We had no. Like, we were excited for you, you guys know, too because they're yeah. like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> people like listen to you guys like so, like so all like much like you know you guys were like just always have the info and uh, again Adam this with the cards good. like when when I can't find yeah. cards or like I need like a you know this is a, Opening up a, a TCG cards, is, it brings a smile to my face, whether it's my pack or someone else's pack. Same with, you know, someone getting a shiny. If someone else gets a shiny, I'm more excited for them than, than I am for myself when I get a shiny. So, like, you know, it's one of those, like, it's happening to you guys. It's happening to, like, everyone else. And, you know, like, we uh, how can I put this? I can take the hit. I, I know what hit that's taking <laughs> like, you know? But when it's like a friend or like, you know, like another creator and you're like, no, like I want this for you. I want you yeah. to succeed so much because I believe in you. Like we believe in you, you know? Exactly. So it's just oh, like, dude, oh. the, the, I got the positivity so fucking amazing. I can't <laughs> yeah. deal with it. It's that's so good. Right, no, yeah, yeah. It's so I'm, good. I'm, I'm, I love I'm a super it. positive person because no, I love that the shit. world is rough. The world is tough. And uh, sometimes you got to view it from, from the other, uh, other way so you can go ahead and keep going. You know? Well, you know, you know, and that's that's awesome to hear personally, too, as you know, from from knowing what you do for a living, like working in, in placement and stuff like that. I mean, that's like it's you're the exact person I would want my kid to meet if they were, you know, getting out of school. You know what I mean? Like to have that level of positivity and that that level of drive. I mean, it's like I, I think that's that's really fucking awesome, man. It's like I, I don't I don't typically uh, surround myself with with this level of energy and it's like i wish i did at this point because this is the, it's like i feel so charged up i'm like you know i worked 12 hours today and it's like i don't care i'm ready to go it's so when awesome. you need a pep talk bud just just give me a call don't yo worry. for real dude just, i'm just telling you i'll be like yeah man you'd be like you're like a, 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 a talking five-hour energy like yes give me that give me that juice man i need that shit. that's that's hilarious that's so good but so where where is the uh where would where would you want to go like if you could travel to play you know anywhere in the, in the country or, or abroad where any any place that you would you know both like to, to no, check it's, out it's not even about the place it, at this point it's about who and I'm a big, I'm a big hugger, bro. Like I, I, I love giving hugs. This pandemic has totally like, that was the other <laughs> thing on the, on the X list places you can't go. And now you can't give hugs. And so like, I'm waiting for like the world to be a little bit better because there are a lot of hugs. I got to go give out, you know, to, to the followers, to oh, other God. creators, okay. to like friends and family. Like I just want to go everywhere and anywhere because we pretty much can get everyone and anyone to play Pokemon go and just have a good time. So I love that. I love that. You know, it's like no, I and you know, hey, if I'm ever at like Comic Con or something, then I see the dude with the free hug sign. It's like hell yeah, I'll give you a hug, bro. I'm like, yeah, okay. no, yeah. So that that the uh, the pandemic has definitely fucked up the hug game for sure. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was like, okay, when, when hugs went out, I'm like, okay, we, the fist bump will be cool. I'm like, no, no, we got we got we got to do elbows. Elbows. Do elbows. <laughs> it was the weirdest game, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> We, 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 we got to do the now, but it's awesome. Do, yeah, I was gonna say do the foot like kid and play. Man. Oh That's my like, god! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Bring your loot back. Nah, nah, dude. We we love our we love our sneaker game too much to go ahead and scuff them up. So I don't know about that. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. That's hilarious. That's so great. That's so great. No, and, and yeah, we were, uh, you know, between Adam and I, we were going to go to St. Louis. We were going to, we were going to mm-hmm. go to Philly. I had a lot of shit planned for mm-hmm. Philly. No, uh, yeah, but we, we know we like, we, yeah. we figured as much. We, like I said, we were so pumped because we we're going to, we were expecting to meet you guys there and just like, so, oh it's my God, like everywhere. the list, the list yeah. is like, endless. Like the, now that I think about it, but it's, I, 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 you know what? I think at the next Pokemon like event, like I'm gonna be the free hugs guy because I, at this point, it's I need to give a hug for everyone. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, well, what kind of content are you both into? Like, what, what are you watching right now? Who, are, who are you watching? And, and you know, if you could collaborate with people, who would you want to collaborate with? Oh my goodness! I mean, at this point, who haven't we watched? And like, because we love supporting everyone, like on on Pokemon. Because uh, take the Pokemon like uh, dynamic out of the way to do youtube to do twitch to do any type of streaming format to put yourself out there in 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 a society in a world that is so critical and 
well, can be toxic. Uh, you know, yeah, it, negative. We we love to watch everyone, loves to support everyone. So I mean, we would be down for everyone. But I mean, right now, yeah. right now, I know that on the top of the list, Will Rocket, Will, we, dude, Will Heck for yeah. sure. That's Will. gonna happen, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's gonna awesome. happen. No, but he's a fan for sure. Yeah. What is um, it about Pokemon trainer Megan? Like for sure, yes. up in the the, the Pacific uh, Coast. The, what is it? The Northwest Pacific Coast. Jewel? No, is it the Jewel of the Northwest Pacific? Something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. But she's up in Seattle, like or up in Washington. So mad love to her. Um, and then of course, oh, Echo Games. Oh, then we got our buddy out in uh Mexico Tamien and Juarez for uh Pokemon, Pokemon Rob, Trainer Rob. Rob. Oh my goodness. And then geez, you know what? It, it's hard because I'll be here listing everyone because let's face it, there is a Pogo trainer creator in every state and on what seems to be like almost city. So like now it's just whoever and everyone because we love every aspect of Pokemon go like whether it's shiny catching whether it's pvp like we miss the community oh it's just a community of everyone yeah well that's what uh it it sounds that that you know obviously with your digital i'm sorry i'm cutting you off but don't worry of course you and adam are on the list as well (laughs) (laughs) all right cool 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 you you got that freaking room to do like podcasting and like you can go get i'm like no you know what we need to go christen that we need to go ahead and have you know surround ourselves around the round table you know and, Yo, and just go at it i'm telling you if you're when you come to the new york area it's it's going mm-hmm. down it's it's 100 100 percent. but sick. but no obviously with the way that you cater to your digital community right to the mm-hmm. to the digital uh followers and viewers and the people that are engaging in chat obviously there has to be a very similar dynamic to your approach to the real life community and obviously the pandemic has just you know, shit all over the our plans to have real life events and do these things. How has that really impacted your your ability to uh, not only get your own name out, but uh, just maintain an audience, a local audience? Like, is because I'd imagine the pandemic had you know such a, a hard impact on you know what you were doing locally, um, like on foot and things like that. Like, so how how has that like kind of interrupted the the flow of content or? Has that created like a, an avenue for you to do some, do what you're doing now? I mean, it's, it all, it almost seems like it, it works for you. Uh, it's a little bit of both. Um, Cause you know, in, in our area, I mean, there's a lot of content creators in, in our area for other, other platforms, other items, but they're not out and about on foot, you know, with their camera with, you know, doing it the way, you know, Pogo trainers do it. Um, Pogo creators do it. And so, you know, it went from like seeing us every day out there to like, wait, where are they? And of course, you know, the messages started flooding in on, you know, on all our, our platforms of like, where are you guys at? Are you guys okay? Is what's yeah. going on? And then, you know, we, we stayed in contact with them, but ultimately we shared what, what, what ended up happening, us, happening to us is that we both got COVID um, towards the end of the year uh, last year. And so that was just like, boom, took us out of the game. Like we, yeah. wow, we wow. felt it completely of like, okay, we're no longer living it. We, uh, of a living of that. Okay. What if you get it? No, now it's, uh, we're going through it, trying to deal with it. Um, you know, Becky's still dealing with long-term COVID, you know, the exhaustion and, and everything from it, um, you know, and, and pushing through, uh, in regards to it. And so, because we were so transparent and let everyone know about it, like the community knows, and they see us, like, like I said, they recognize the, the miracle whip, for sure. And so, you know, we wave and, you know, they're waiting, they're waiting, uh, you know, we're waiting to go ahead and get fully vaccinated right. so we can be out there with them so that, you know, Becky doesn't run the risk uh, of getting ill again. And, you know, and then of course, you know, for us, for them to be safe as well, to be with them as well. Yeah. It's, it's really shook things up uh, in terms of, of what we were so used to in our community and, and here in Jersey, you know, I was, I was running, you know, three or four different PVP tournaments a month within, you know, uh, an hour or two radius. So it's like I was ho- I was hosting multiple multiple live events every month and you know that was thriving, you know, and that's completely separate from like my efforts with the podcast and the efforts with the the network and all that kind of stuff. This was a a, a specific just PVP, you know, arm that I was doing and it's called the New Jersey Go Battle League. And I've since kind of uh, handed the reins over to my good buddy, Gary, who's doing a fucking amazing job with it. But it's all remote now, obviously. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that dynamic has changed. And it was like it, it changed for so many different people that were so used to meeting each other. And then we had this amazing like cross pollinization where, you know, people that were in this community's tournament would show up at the other community's tournament and vice versa. And you had all these trainers coming together and it was it was just so amazing. And then like 
it just stopped. And, you know, we didn't know what to do for a little while. Everyone was just kind of like really yeah. bummed out about it. And we have to, we really had to rethink how we can approach this. And, you know, we're at this point now where I think we're, we're, we're at another turning point where we have to be exceptionally vigilant, but at the same time, regain, you know, what we lost. Agreed. And, agreed. you know, yeah. and it's, 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 it's very promising to hear your perspective of saying like, Hey, look, we need to, we need to be smart. We need to protect ourselves. We need to protect the community. Uh, but obviously the goal is to, is to get back out there and, and be with the people because that's what this game is all about. You know, that's, that's the whole thing for me. You know, I'm fortunate that, you know, I, I, even though like I'm in an urban area, I'm in Jersey, I'm at the Jersey shore, I can still go out and play and be in the woods or be in a downtown and be socially distant and get outside. So it's, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have like the, the best of both worlds when it, when it comes to that. But I know that that's not the case for everybody. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the times where we can just get our, our act back together yeah. and uh, you know, be, be around people again and have those, you know, group photo shoot of like the community of 50, 60 people all hanging out. Or, you know, we have this one community from, from, you know, the long branch area in New Jersey and, you know, we would do like our, our annual like picnic, you know what I mean? And it was like, oh, there would be a hundred, yeah. 150 oh, people. We would rent out like a promenade and this big, you know, it's big thing. And, you know, people were grilling for 10 hours and like, it was oh, like an God. amazing yes. vibe. That's awesome. And <laughs> it's like, and I miss that so much. And it's yeah. like, yeah. Worse, like worse. but, yeah. oh, but yeah. that we, but we're able to now. And I think that that's why, what uh, will make content like yours successful is being able to live vicariously through the creators and then also retain that vibe, that feeling of of energy and community, even though you're not like with someone in person, you can still get that vibe of uh, the community culture. And I think that yeah. that's another thing that that your content kind of uh, really you know showcases is the culture of the trainer of playing and you know keeping it moving. And I think that uh, for me that hits home because like that's very important to me. I need to be motivated to move. Is yeah. if if I don't have something motivating me like the game. I'm probably going to sit on my ass. I sit on my ass all day at work. You know, I'm 10, 12 hours a day. I'm sitting on my ass. And it's like, I hate that. I get you. And, you you know, like when when you had to walk for PvP battles, I was like, you know, had this gung-ho 15K a day campaign. I was like, yeah, fucking out there walking 15K a day. It's like, (laughs) dude, I don't hit that shit ever anymore. And it's like, I need to have that motivation back in my life. So, um, yeah, I can't can't wait for it. But, um, you know, there's one other thing I definitely have to have to talk to you about because you have links, uh, you know, on your socials to like personal blogs and stuff like that. And I kind of went down the the Becky and Eli rabbit hole. Oh, fun. And, <laughs> and I saw like all this Disney shit. And yeah. for me, I am an absolute 100 percent insane Disney nerd, like to yeah, the bone. Yeah. Like, I mean, I've got, you know, like a 500 piece Disney pin collection. Oh I've God, got, you know, it. like. Yeah, like I'm, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck around. Like oh the last, the last, you know, the last time I went to Disney, I literally bought a lot of like three or four hundred pins, like online, just like shitty jacked up pins. For I crazy. traded every single last one That's of them on my so trip. Cool. And yeah, like, yo, I, I'm missing about Disney so much. Yeah, too. it's it's like so. I I, I want to ask, what's the connection to Disney, and how close are you to Disneyland? Because I'm seeing a shit shitload of pictures okay. of Disneyland in your content. So, well, first and foremost, like, uh, you have to understand, like, I'm from Orange County, where Disneyland's at. Uh, I used to live about, like, maybe 15 minutes away, driving-wise. Oh, like, so or, dreamy. Like, 30 minutes on a bus. Um, and so, like, for myself, uh, where, where the high school that I went to, and, you know, and, of course, um, you know, you know, your senior year, you either worked at the mall or you worked at Disneyland. Like, that's that's kind of how it worked out. So, wow. you always got the homie hookup to get into the park back in the day. And so, like, that was where the love came in, where you were able to go to Disneyland so much. I've always been a Disney fan of Disney. Not like I'm a huge, like, like nerd, like, in regards to it, a geek out about it. Like, I'm like I said, I'm very blessed to have the wife who's not only into Pokemon, but Disney as well. And so, <laughs> like, we're, now we're only, like, an hour away. But still, yeah. it, it's, it's not bad because... It, it's an hour away for Disneyland. So like we it's not a big deal. And then like for myself, I was really deprived of Disney. <laughs> like I lived um an hour away still, but like I wouldn't go. It wasn't down the street for me. It was like once in a blue moon, my family would take me and it'd be like one of those all day things. Like we're there right when it opens and we do as much as possible because we're only there one day and we're back. 
So like yeah, now yeah. that I'm an adult, I get to do everything. I'm like, I have my own money. I get to spend it. I, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like a big kid in there. Like whatever I want to do, I'm just, I'm going to do it. You no, know? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. No, I go there. I'm at the fucking rope drop. I'm in. Like I am, yes. I am like, you know, I'm all about it. So I thought that was really cool seeing all the Disney stuff. I've never been to Disneyland. I've only been to Disney World, and oh, I mean, and Disney World is like nothing I've ever seen in regards to Pokemon Go. It is fucking amazing, oh. like no, absolutely that, that out of control. Wow. That was on the list to go I need to, to go to in yeah, 2020. We need like, to go to Disney World. Like, well, that's that was on the thing. <laughs> Disney yeah, that, that's it's so huge. Like when you yeah. know, it's yeah. there's uh, you know, if you Google like the 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 footprint of Disneyland and compare that to the footprint of Disney World, it's like you really it's see right. how much land in Florida is actually owned by Disney, like dedicated yeah. to Disney. It's oh, insane. No, where yeah, like yeah. you know, when you're in California, you're driving on the highway, you're like, oh shit, there's Disneyland right there. Like yeah. it's right <laughs> on the side of the highway. <laughs> well, like. <laughs> Like my job, like uh, what's it called? Like uh, my last job that I had, I was out, uh, you know, like about maybe three minutes away from Disneyland. So like my office view on the 19th floor was of like of uh, the Matterhorn. So like I would see Disneyland every day, and I'd be like, why am I stuck behind a desk instead wow. of there? But, like wow, no, like we we used to like be able to, like have a good time. So that was one of the things that like that we're excited about because we managed to snag opening day tickets. Uh, for Disneyland, for the reopening, for the reopening. Oh my God, we're so, so high. we're pumped oh, to go. We're gonna be sick. there for the world drop. We're gonna be there for uh, what is it, May the fourth? You know, Star Wars Day because I'm a huge, we're both huge yeah, Star Wars people. Heck yeah, and oh, then the Avengers yeah. uh, but, a day as well on June fourth. So we're gonna be there multiple days. So we are in, so pumped, sending we're gifts. So excited, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's it? What's it like in terms of Pokemon Go? Is it just absolutely bonkers? Yeah, you know, it's, it's freaking amazing. It's amazing. Look, <laughs> it, it's it's the reason why, like, let's face it, Mystic Seven goes, JT Gilly when he's in the area goes. You know, um, uh, of course, uh, uh, it's just not even going into Disneyland. Downtown Disney is just another lit place to go ahead and play because the spawns are insane. You get into Disneyland, you get all the little uh, the gyms where you where you can't even hold it for like even a minute because everyone's just like, nope, I'm in line. I'm gonna beat you out of yep, here. Yep. <laughs> and so it's just it's fun, pure chaos, and you know, it's just it's great. I love that so much. Yeah, I uh, it's been a couple of years for me. I haven't been. I haven't been. So it's like I'm. I'm really dying to go. You know, my buddy JT Valor lives down in Orlando. So it's oh, like, yeah. you know, once uh, once the world is balanced again, it's like mm-hmm. I told JT. I'm like, yo, we're going. He's like, hell yeah, we're going. I was like, all right, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. I cannot wait. I absolutely cannot wait. But uh, yeah, you know, I, I thought that was uh, that was really cool because uh, you know, we do have a you know, a Disney connection in, in, in the podcast network to uh, Josh, who's the, the co-host of the special conditions podcast, our TCG podcast. He also hosts a podcast on his own uh, co-host podcast uh, called the castle vault, which is they're they're watching every single Disney movie ever released from start to finish. Ooh, sweet. Um, started starting all the way back, you know, with the original movie. Um, and they're, they also make the food uh, a, a dish, a food dish based mm-hmm. on each movie that they watch and they post it on their socials. It's, it's amazing. It's like That's really, amazing. yeah, Great. really, really, really cool shit. Wow. And it's like, uh, you know, it's so fun to experience Disney in all these different ways. So like whenever mm-hmm. I see like a Pogo Avenue to talk about Disney, I'm like, oh, hell yeah. It's like, I love it. <laughs> I love that so much because it's, uh, you know, it, it's definitely a passion of, of mine and, you know, being able to, to share that with my son, you know, he's the same way. So he, he, he loves that shit too. So oh, that's it's, awesome. it's, it's super, super exciting, but uh, yeah, you've got to get you to Disney world because it's like, uh, I've known plenty of people that have spent a ton of time, time at Disneyland mm-hmm. and then they get to Disney world and it's like, they don't even know what to do with themselves. Cause it's just so big. <laughs> oh yeah. We've seen the reactions. We've seen the we've reactions. Seen like, it. you know, like, Oh my goodness. Our family's gone. Like, you know, they, they, it takes days to go ahead and do it. Like, See here at Disneyland because you know I, I'm kind of spoiled by by how I grew up and, and being able to go, you know at at the rope drop I know exactly how to hit every single ride and be done with Disneyland by twelve forty five every single time and you've yeah. ridden on everything before Fast Pass like just how to nail it like out of the gate like and, <laughs> and then go to California Disney and then come back and just re loop it again and so like you know when it comes to like Disney World when we're like we're like how are we gonna do it because it's so it's just big. It's it's just, you need you need you need five days. You honestly yeah. need five days five in the days? park, like five in the park days, like okay. without a doubt. Like you need two days for Magic Kingdom. Uh-huh. You need a day, at least a day for Animal Kingdom, especially now with 
with uh, the you know the Avatar thing there. Um, oh, yeah. Hollywood's Hollywood Studios was just kind of, you know like completely redone. It's like you you need time. Which one's your favorite though? Or what? You yeah, know, what you, would be your favorite? If you'd like to go. I mean, you know, oh man, uh, it's the Magic Kingdom is amazing. I love Epcot okay. too, though. You know, it's like it's so hard. It's like it's it's you know i i was i was the one when the family was like you know trying to stay at the pool you know and chill out and they're exhausted and their feet hurt i'm like yo i'm going to epcot i'm getting fucking ice cream you know what i'm saying it's like five days i'm like i didn't hear a recovery day i didn't hear an editing day i didn't hear like a hell no <laughs> you know it's like i'm going to magic kingdom i'm, I'm getting the dull whip and it's like yo you best believe yeah. i'm it's like i you know and i'm a you know i'm a master disney planner too so it was like when oh. it's time to book the vacation i'm like masterminding it i'm i'm getting free dining you know we yeah. stay on property and all that shit and and it's like y'all end the trip, and it's like yo, I still got like seven like dessert passes from my meal ticket, my meal plan left. It's like I'm going to Magic Kingdom, I'm riding Pirates of the Caribbean twelve times, and I'm getting a Dole Whip on the way out every time, yeah. every time. Yeah. Like, oh, that, that's the move. Yeah. That's the move. So funny. That's so funny. Oh man. All right. I love it. I don't. I know I can go down the uh, <laughs> the Disney the Disney rabbit hole for for hours and hours. No, dude, that, you're kidding me. Like, and what makes it even better because again, again, because it's it's such a huge place to play Pokemon Go. You just get lost in it because now you're like, oh well, I'm gonna go get you know those those, those desserts. I'm gonna go right on this, and then you don't mind waiting because you're just catching you're just catching and yeah. battling and, and and raiding so oh. yeah i uh when i went i had uh you know i had a, a book bag and i brought five battery packs a day with me like five actual <laughs> like 15 milliamp you know fifteen thousand milliamp battery chargers you know to keep my shit running all day long yeah, because no, yeah. it was yeah. like we, 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 <laughs> You know, April, and, you know, I I had I dude, I had ice packs in my bag so I could keep the battery packs and my phone cool. Like I didn't fuck around. Like I, I had like the setup. I'm you know, like, it's like yeah, you get that sun. Like- <laughs> <laughs> True Disney head right there. We know, bro. We know. <laughs> yep, give me one of those cool towels to put around my neck. I had a straw hat. <laughs> I was go, like, yo, yeah. I'm I'm that guy right now. I've got the straw hat with fucking pins all over it. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's that's me, bro. I'm, I, that's 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 so funny. That's so funny, but Becky, Eli, thank thank you so much. This was amazing. This was so much fun. No, I, 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 I love that. I lo- absolutely like, oh, loved having you on the show. We definitely have to hang out. Like, yeah, oh my sure. gosh. Like, and talk just... more, grab some drinks, whatever. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. Cool. No, I, I, I love that. And uh, you know, it's it's always good to to talk to people from different parts of the country and different cultures. And you know, I had incense podcast from England on last week and you know, it's like I've got a, a bunch of people from Australia coming on in a couple of weeks, and it's like I, I just love the 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 global appeal of this game and and how it brings people together. Oh, and the joy, uh, the joy that it just puts on people's yeah, faces, like it's yeah. just oh, it's amazing. No, but I'm 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 definitely excited. I, I 100% will be hitting the West Coast up, uh, you know, in 2022. I'm doing a shit ton of traveling in 2022. It's like I need to make up for lost time. You know, Adam, we're sending Adam to to London for Pokemon Worlds. Um, Heck yeah. you know, I'm, I'm hoping to, uh, to go to Japan for a go fest I'm awesome. and, I'm awesome. um, you know, so we're, we're, we're trying to, we're trying to really make all this shit happen. And, uh, without a doubt, the West coast is, is on the list. So Heck we'll yeah. definitely be, uh, we'll definitely be hanging out and, uh, yo, we're hitting up Disney for sure. A hundred percent. Please, please let this happen. <laughs> yes, but, you know, before we go, let our community know where they can find you. Of course, links to everywhere that you can find Becky and Eli legendary adventures will be in the description. Please, you know, check them out, give them a sub, follow, like whatever it is, notifications, all that shit. Um, I always say it at the end of the show. Every time I say the people that I have on this show, are very important to me because I believe in what they're doing and I believe in their process and, and what you, what you're both doing uh, to me is, I think is incredibly special. I think you're, you're, you're harnessing and capturing an amazing vertical slice of the Pokemon go world and community at large. And uh, the positivity that you bring to it just brings me a lot of joy. And I think that that's the vibe that people can expect when they, when they watch your content. So let us know, where can we find you? When can we, you know, do you have a set time you go on live or is it like it could be whenever, just let it, let us know where you're at online. Well, uh, I'll let Becky go ahead and uh, give out all the details in regards to that. But it is, as far as going live, that's what you got to subscribe to legendary adventures. Turn that notification bell on, man, yep, because yep, man. we do the surprise streams. We're just all over the place right now. Heck yeah. So if you need, if you need to go ahead and raid during your lunchtime or, you know, it's 2 a.m. in your part of the world and you want a quick raid, 
watch uh, watch out for us all but, right so on youtube we're youtube.com slash legendary adventures instagram is legendary dot adventures underscore on twitch we are at legendary underscores adventure and twitter is at get that pokemon awesome awesome and of course the links to to everything will be in the video or uh in the podcast description so please definitely check that out but becky eli thank you so incredibly much uh it's this was this was awesome couldn't have asked for a better show i really appreciate you both coming on the show no no te agradecemos thank, a ti. You, we, thank you so much Compa. so honestly yeah. uh, a pleasure to be here it's and an again honor. like i said a milestone hit off and i cannot wait to give you that <laughs> hug bro i, I yeah oh, hell yeah bro the, 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 the bro hug it the bro hug energy will be real yeah, bro for real <laughs> i've been telling tell everyone i'm like i'm hitting the gym i'm picking everyone off three feet off the ground and like throwing you around because i oh i cannot wait I cannot wait that's to awesome share that energy all right everyone else this has been an episode of the lured up podcast creator series keep training trainers appreciate you and we'll talk to you next week take care